Good morning. Welcome to Bad Tunnel. How do I get Big Brother power in Mandalay Bay EF with Yang Yu, your speaker? Before we begin, a few brief notes. Stop by the business hall located in Bayside AB. You want this? The Black Hat Arsenal is on the Palm Foyer on level three, and of course the Arsenal reception at uh, five o'clock tonight. If you haven't picked up your merchandise, today is your last chance to visit the Black Hat Swag and Bookstore. Visit the Kali Linux Lab in Mandalay Bay Room A, which is just down the hallway. And please put your phone on vibrate. It makes it easier for the rest of us to ignore it ringing while you wait for your voicemail to pick it up. Without further ado, Yang Yu. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming to my talk. Uh, my name is Yang, uh, and today I'm going to talk about bad tunnel. Uh, first, does anyone know about that giant circle? Yeah, Stargate, are you a big fan? Good, yeah. Uh, just let me introduce myself. I'm from China, Beijing. I work for Tencent. Uh, you know, Tencent, Tencent is a company, not Tencent. Nobody works for Tencent, okay? <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, I'm running a security lab named Xuan Wu. That means the god of north, okay? Uh, and I got a lot of money from Microsoft, yeah? I'm working uh, in information uh, security industry from 2002. And uh, uh, before that, I'm a doctor. But now, I'm just you, you guys. <laughs> yeah. No girls anymore. Uh, first, I'm going to look at the background knowledge for the bad tunnel. Secondly, I'll take, tell you how to create a bad tunnel. Then I'll move on to what bad tunnel could do. Finally, I'll focus on how to defend against the bad tunnel attacks. See, the Luxor Hotel fly up. <laughs> Why I use this picture? Because I will talk about some r really old stuff. The NetBows protocol. NetBows is an Asian protocol. How ancient is it? If you study on the history of NetBows security, you will see the name cult of the dead cow. That's how old is it? It's like a million years old. <laughs> yeah. The new generation may have never heard about this name. NetBox protocol is uh, uh, com comprised of three sub-protocols. The uh, name service, datagram service, and the session service. Most functionalities of NetBox are implemented uh, in the session service. And uh, the most uh, vulnerabilities are also in name service, uh, in the session service. But today we are talking about uh, the name service. NetBow's name service is uh, a name, name re uh, resolution protocol, just like the DNS. Also, the uh, the packet is also like a DNS. It's just like a, a DNS running on port, on port 137. But unlike DNS, it's not only listen on the 100, uh, 137, but also use the same port as the source port to send the packet. That is, the NBNS communication is from 137 to 137. That's the key. And the DNS transaction ID is randomized. But the transaction ID of the NBS protocol 
is 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 incremental. As we all know, the security of DNS is depend on the uh, randomness of the source port and the transaction ID. But NBNS abandoned this in design. That's some kind of uh, understandable because the NBNS is designed for work in the local network and uh, uh, it will send the packet to the broadcast. So all the host will receive this, this, this packet. Seems the randomized is meaningless. And there are actually two types of the NBNS packet. One is NB query used in name res uh, resolution. I can work in both, bro uh, it, it, it can work in uh, both broadcast mode or unicast mode. It should be noted that in most cases we are only using NBNS to resolve host names but it can also resolve F FQDN. The system will first try to resolve the FQDN with DNS. If there, there is no result return, the NBNS query is used. NB state query works in unicast mode. It usually used to diagnose the net mouse network issues. In most cases, the NB state query is sent is sent by diagnostic uh, uh, is sent by diagnostic tools like uh, NB state. But the system itself will also send it when failed to access an UNC path. As we mentioned previously, the NBS transaction ID is not random by but uh, incremental. And the NB query and the NB state query shares the same counter, the same transaction ID counter. That's another key. We can observe the two types of packet with a simple experiment. If we ping a host name, the system will, see, we will send a NB query if we query this IP address with NBT, uh, NBT state, a NB state query will send to this IP address. We can see this in Wireshark. And uh, we can see that's the, that's the transaction ID, the NB NB query and uh, NB state query is incremental. That's the background knowledge we need to bat bat tunnel. Now let's see how to use this knowledge to actually create a bad tunnel. Alice, we use Alice and Bob. Alice is a typical internet user. She only has a LAN IP address and connected to the internet through a switch, router, uh, an IT device, and the firewalls. Bob, Bob is located outside of Alice's network. Alice can access Bob, but Bob cannot access Alice. If Alice send a NB state query to Bob, which is an UDP packet with source port and des destination port both set to 137, it can be received by, uh, oops. Ah, okay. It, it can be received by Bob. After the packet passes through the NAT device, the source IP address will uh, become the NAT device IP address. Also, the, the port will be changed. But that's not a problem 
The reply packet sent to Bob will also process by the NAT device to make sure Alice can receive it. That is, after this communication is completed, no matter what kind of uh, device is between Alice and Bob, there will be a tunnel created for both sides, for both sides, UDP 137. Yeah, and what, whatever it's a reply or a request. So uh, we got the tunnel. Now the only question is how to make Alice to send an NB state query to Bob. Yeah. When Windows is trying to access an UDP uh, an UNC pass with IP address, if the 139 and uh, 445 port of the target is inaccessible, the system will send a NBT, uh, NB state query to the target IP address. There are too many ways to make a system access a UNC pass. The Microsoft Edge and uh, Internet Explorer both try to resolve the UNC pass in the web page. And all types of Microsoft Office document can have remembered the UNC pass. The same is true for many other five file types. If we have a shortcut with icon path point to a UNC pass, the, the UNC pass will be accessed even the shortcut is just to show on the screen. We may even create a bad tunnel on a web server or a SQL server. Too many ways. That because the UNC is a part of Windows, right? You, you, you can't just get rid of it. When we create a bad tunnel and can access MBNS service to, to an, another system, what can we do next? Play golf? We can hijack any host name. Like WPAD. About WPAD, there, uh, there is a, uh, another talk this, in, this, this afternoon about WPAD. Yeah. WPAD is a web proxy auto discovery protocol. Windows system use these to configure uh, proxy settings from from Windows 19.5. Yeah. If we hijack the WPAD host name, we can control almost all of the TCP and UDP traffic. The problem, the problem listed listed on this page are mostly known issues and they look very serious, but nobody fixed it, them because they, they all have to be down in the same network. Now, bad tunnel can let us do this attack anywhere in the world. Let's see a, a complete attack to hijack WPAD. First, Bob induced Alice to access a malicious URL or, or file or anything. In the web page, there are two remembered paths. One point to Bob's UNC path, and another is a WPAD path. After Alice accessed the Bob's UNC path, The system will try to access Bob's 139 and 445 port. Accessing WPAD path will broadcast a NB query. 
But Bob can, cannot reply this for now. For now. If Bob denied Alice's access to his, his pot, Alice will send an NB state query to Bob. This will open up a double direction tunnel. Yeah, as we say. Uh, and the leak the current transaction ID counter. Yeah. One stone, two bird. Bob, now, Bob can now use leaked transaction ID to craft a, val a valued NB response and send it through the tunnel to complete a cross network NB spoofing. Yeah. With bad tunnel, you can hijack the net network traffic of every version of Microsoft Windows going back to the Windows 95. And this is the big broader broad power. Uh, yeah. Now let's discuss how to defend against this attack. I have reported this vulnerability to Microsoft in March and they have fixed it in June. That is pretty quick, quick. that is pretty quick for fixing this level of vulnerability. Uh, how they fixed it? There's no more NB state query after failed UNC Access now. And no longer use MBNS to resolve WPAD pass after you install that uh, June patch. If you are still using unsupported uh, Windows, like Windows XP, or otherwise cannot install the patch, you could consider disabling the uh, the NetBox over TCP IP. It's also a good idea to block port 137 on the border firewall. Your network administrator may have done this in 2003. Remember Blast War? Another Asian, Asian thing. You, you remember that blast worm? Don't 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 pretending teenagers. We're all older guys. Although this is useless to against the blast worm, but many network ad, um, administrators do that. People were scared at that time in, in 2003. But but this is really an effective way to prevent bad tunnel attacks now. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's all. I still have a few minutes. Uh, and I, I really ha made a huge mistake. Uh, just apply for a 25 minutes briefing uh, brief things. I should apply for 40. So I think you may have a lot of questions. Please see the white paper on the Black Hat website later. Or you can ask me now. Any question? Okay. When? when? <laughs> you mean when or why? When? Why? When? Did when? Uh, this year, Mars. Okay. Yeah. Huh? 
Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> that's even not a question. <laughs> Okay, another question? If there are no question, I'll show you some demo. Guys, I, I, I will play the demo. <laughs> Don't go. Don't go. Still not finished. Your loss, your loss. This is a bulb. We can see this is the IP address of a bulb. This is Alice. We can see they are in different network. And Alice can access Bob. Bob can't access Alice. Okay, this is a simple uh, web server. This is the bad tunnel. This is a bad tunnel application. We can see the, okay, okay. The NetBox catch table is only a, an OA. There's no WPAD on Alice. See, we on the Alice we access the web page on Bob. We send, uh, we trigger the bad tunnel and uh, spoof, send the spoofing packet. Now we return to Alice to see. See, the WPAD name is is. It hijacked. Okay. okay. Thank you.